Hey there, everyone. The Sao Cow playing Steam Library. <laughs> I guess it's December 9th, uh, and the day uh, of pre Christmas is still happening, you know? They're still being filled up. I still don't know what's up with that. I still think it is absolutely ridiculous. I forget if, uh, according to the formula, the next uh, step was three, but we got three pending gifts. Uh, and one of these is from Tangy. Hey, Tangy. Check it out. It's called Mona Lisa. Wow, cow. Here is a tiny little micro puzzle game. That, uh, my voice cracked. Here is a tiny little micro puzzle game that could easily find time between games as an emergency Vox So it's a tiny game. It's a little tiny game, huh? The Mona Lisa. Hostile interpretation of the immersive sim. Whoa, what? Oh, it's Mo Selena. Wait. No wonder I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, okay, yeah, they did that on purpose, right? Like, like it's similar to Mona Lisa, but it's not, but your brain is gonna autocorrect. Mo Selena, most lines, uh, that's not what that means at all. <laughs> Ooh, I'm little digging the vibe. This reminds me of the, something I feel like I've played. Okay, put a bomb there, get exploded, and miss the moon, you idiot. Oh, there is something real funny going on here. So, okay, so you get a random assortment of tools. Figure it out! Oh, and you have to go back, too. Oh, this is... this looks so rad. Is it, like, just, like, random stuff that just pops up all the time? This looks super cool! Mushroom! Yeah! We love those! Whoa! Yay! Yeah, did it, Bunny! <laughs> oh, this looks fantastic! Oh, what? Hey, it got released early. <laughs> That's rare! <laughs> oh, man. So, any percent... Okay, any percent is... Under... It's like under a minute and a half. So, I get what you're saying. But, uh, oh, that looks super cool. Mo Selena. Yeah, I will always say that wrong. Forever. Because, like, like, Mona Lisa is a word that's just sort of, like, ingrained in my brain folds. Mo Selena's playing on that. Uh, it's a little... It's a little upsetting. Surprise ambush by Pico! Found this game, my pure chance, by fiddling with Steam preferences. Gonna hope you have a fun time along Christmas! Po... Picotilla. Uh, thank you very much, Pico. Nine-tailed okitsune tail. Uh, first of all, there's Japanese writing I cannot translate. Fluffy X Kawaii. A Japanese-style action erpg where the character changes into various forms of anomalies that occur in the capital. Well, 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 well. I'm gonna assume this is not official. And there's a glitch fishing animation if you're into that. Okay. Well, jeez. Oh, whoa. There's some quick cutting here. Be careful. Yeah, that's exactly how I said that. My pronunciation was flawless. The way this moves around, of all things, it reminds me of that game I played. What was the name? The two, like, the two twins. The name is just, like, not staying in my brain. Well, look at that design. Like, what are those hands? Like, bird hands? Like, wings? That's that's how that's called? I mean, the, the main character sprite is absolutely adorable. I... This is not exactly the sort of game I would naturally be drawn to. I will just go ahead and say it. Especially if it's an RP... Whoa, why, why are you a Digimon now? I mean, multiple form. That was advertised. I will say, this does look like extremely adorable. Like, it is like it is smashing you in the face with its adorableness, and you will be adorable. The, the, 
adorablide. <laughs> it's super cute. All right, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna accept that. It's now in my library now. There's nothing you can do about it other than I guess be happy because I put it. Fusion Warrior. Well, well, well. Look who's back. Rao Cow, consume the world. Whoa, wait a second. Was this done by someone who's seen me before? Because that turn afraid, that just doesn't happen naturally. Consume the world and everything inside, literally. Just don't forget the antacid tablets and to brush. And then there's eating sounds. Tasty planet forever. Bigger, better, tastier. All right, I mean, it shows a cat eating a car. Which, yeah, I feel like a cat would try to do that if it had the right side size. So I wasn't sure if this was the right one because the art style looks a little bit different than the cover, but on the Steam page, like, that's how their trailer starts, too. I don't think a rat should, or cat, should eat a knife. Uh, I guess at this point it doesn't matter. So it's like Animal Katamari. Except, uh, yeah, you're an animal. Then you just kind of instantly eat a boat. Oh, don't eat an helium balloon, though. Like, that's that's just gonna fill you up. But, like, it's, there's no nutrition in there. <laughs> yeah, it's Animal Katamari Damati. Okay, eat a plane. It's their fault for being so low-flying. That's kind of morbid. I don't know. There's just something weirdly... Like, the way it just unhitches its bee jaws. I like, get right in. Well, that is a chunky little shark. It's a little fat little guy. Yeah, here we go. Fox running in. A guy's throwing a, b a barrel? No, it's called... Uh, I don't think a penguin can fly. I mean, this penguin just, like, swallowed a cinder block? Well, this is in the future. Ooh, going all the way from the stage of being, like, like a tiny little embryo. And then ending up in space. Tasty plant. I get it. I get it. And, you know, it's just you're, it's, you're tiny, and then you become big as you eat. No, I get it. There's something unsettling about the art style, though. I don't know what it is. But there's something just kind of weird about it. Yeah, uh, I guess my past acceptance disappeared because, um, you know, like I said, I went to the store to make sure I had the right game. Yeah, um, there's something about the art style. I don't know. It, I, 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 there's something about it that I feel looks unsettling with the whole, hey, absorb everything into your ma, and uh, the results of which is going to uh, make your size larger. You're still going to function, even though different degrees and, like, density of oxygen is going <laughs> to enter your body. It's fine. Don't think about it. Yeah, if you were c cast a spell by a wizard and you became, like, I don't know, man, like, 50 feet tall, would you be able to survive because you're, 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 you're like, I mean, yeah, like, your circulation system wasn't made to operate at that size, does it scale up? Would you be able to see as well? Like, would the ability of our eyeballs to interpret light signals into images like would that be able to catch up would it be able to register things normally would that scale up how would that work now i'm genuinely curious like if you become a giant are you just kind of messing yourself up and setting yourself up for a bad time beyond just being outside of scope of the size of things like beyond the fact they're going to be stuck just living in the environment basically I know there's extremely intelligent people watching my video, so please offer some kind of answer. I need to know.